Hi, we are now going to do proposition 124. So in this proposition, we have two triangles. We're given two triangles, ABC and DEF. And we also know that uh, the side AB is equal to the side DE. And that the side BC is equal to the side EF. And we also uh, set it up such that the angle ABC is greater than the angle DEF. So the angle between the equal sides in each triangle, one is larger than the other one. So, so generally, if we get two triangles where they have two sides equal, and the angle between the two sides, one is larger than the other. What we're going to prove is that the base opposite the larger angle is larger than the other base. Okay, so this is what we're looking to prove. So, for our first step, we're going to map this triangle onto this one so that we can compare the two of them right next to each other. So on the line FE, at the point E, we are going to construct an angle equal to angle ABC. Since angle ABC was greater by, um, that's our given, than this angle here, and it means this line is going to fall outside for this angle. And at the same time while we're doing this, we're going to construct E G, such that it's equal to the side AB. So, construct angle FEG equal to angle ABC, and then EG equal to AB. And from here, we're going to connect this floating point G to points F and D. So what we've basically done is we've taken this triangle, we've lined up the equal sides B, C, and E, F, and then we've constructed triangle A, B, C, hopefully, on top of uh, right next to triangle D, E, F. So the way that we're going to test this is check and see if we actually have our equal triangles. So we know that AB and GE are equal. Let's do it this way. So we're looking, we're trying to compare triangles ABC and triangle GEF. So I'll put this here just in case we get lost on which triangles we're looking at. So from there, we know that AB is equal to GE. We constructed it that way. We also know that BC is equal to EF. Um, that was part of our original given. Further, we constructed angle FEG equal to angle ABC. So we know angle ABC is equal to angle GEF. What that gives us is side angle side and side, so we say side angle side, side angle side. So we know that triangle ABC is equal to triangle GEF 
And the big takeaway we want from that is we want to be able to say that the base AC is equal to the base GF. We're going to use that to compare it later. So we'll box that one off because we're going to want to return to that pretty soon. The next thing we need to do before we start comparing angles is we need to look at the triangle GED. So again, I'll just write that triangle here just so we remember which one we're looking at. In triangle GED, we know GE and ED are equal. Therefore, we have an isosceles triangle. And for an isosceles triangle, the angles, in this case, at the base, which are opposite the equal sides, those angles are equal to each other. So angle EGD is equal to angle EDG. Okay, now we're ready to finish off the problem. So I'm going to just move this up to the next line just so it's easier to visually see some of the comparisons we're making. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find, and so with both of these angles, we're going to either find an angle that's uh, greater in which case the larger angle would contain one of these, or find an angle that's smaller, in which one of these angles contains a smaller angle. So we'll now get inequalities that we can compare. Because um, what we're ultimately looking for are inequalities in our, what we're looking to prove. So the first one we'll do is EGD. You notice in ED, EGD, we have the angle FGD. This one here is smaller than the whole angle. So, we can say angle EGD is greater than angle FGD. Then we want to do a similar thing for the angle EDG. You notice EDG falls within the angle FDG. So we can say that, in this case, since EDG is contained by the other one, it's, we would say EDG is less than angle FDG. And then what we're going to set up is, if, well, in one case, so we know these two are equal. So here, these two circle ones here are equal terms. In one case, we have the equal angles greater than another angle. In the other case, it's they're less than another one. So we're going to set up a three-part inequality. We will say that, let's do it this way. So we'll say angle FDG is greater than angle EDG, which is one of our equal angles, and our equal angle here is greater than FGD, so they're both greater than GD. So set up this way, we're just going to get rid of the middle term. We have FDG is greater than FGD. So notice that both of our angles are now with this one triangle, triangle FGD. So what we're going to do now, from an earlier prop, we know that in a triangle, a larger angle subtends a larger side. So what that means is the larger of our two angles, FDG, the side opposite it is going to be larger than the side that's opposite the smaller angle. So to put the specifics on that, the side opposite of FDG is, if you spread them out, it gives us the side FG. So FG 
is greater than, and then we have our angle FGD. If we take that angle up, we get the side FD, which is opposite. And then, if we go back to our boxed off area here, notice we have an FG and an FG. So all we're going to do is substitute AC in over here. And we get AC is greater than FD, which is what we were looking for for our proof. And so essentially what we've done is by mapping this triangle on here, um, we've compared the angles. It turns out that the base of the triangle, which has the larger angle between the equal sides, is larger than the base over here of the triangle that had the smaller angle between the equal sides, which is what we were looking to 